Greetings. My name is Ozymandias, and this is Ozzy's Tower. Ozzy's Tower is located on Serenity on the watershed shard, as you can see here. I have a number of friends, guildmates, associates who have asked me questions about how to build things in, in EverQuest Landmark Alpha, and I've decided I wanted to put together a couple of videos to show them. It's much easier. Uh, I'm going to put a number of videos out. This first one I'm putting out is just going to cover a lot of the, the basic stuff. Um, like, for example, how to use the Add tool, the Delete tool, and Manage Textures. I'll do other videos that, that cover the other tools after this one. Um, the Textures, this is your nib for those of you who, who use graphic tools. This is a representation of how much of your resource you're going to consume. This is how much of your resource that you have available. And this is the resource you have selected. For example, I'm going to go with stone, worked stone slab. I have 389,000 of it. And the current size that I'm using, use your mouse wheel to make it larger. And that's how much you're consuming. So I would be burning 1,728 stone every time I clicked this button. Click it. It has the texture that I selected. If I don't like that, I can use Control Z and it goes away. Make a smaller one. Control Z goes away. You, I'm putting it out here on my, my dirt field just to make it easier, but you can place them anywhere you want with the understanding <clears throat> that they are going to go where your mouse cursor is sitting. You cannot just put it in the air. Let's say I wanted to put one right over my head. I raise my mouse up over my head. It's off in the distance. And that's because it, that we do not have spatial anchors and it's going to go where you put the, put the mouse. Also, if you put it on uneven terrain, if you see the dotted line, the dotted line indicates that some of it's going to be underground and it's going to replace the ground there. Now, put it there. I've replaced the ground. I've spent the stone. If I press Control Z, it goes away and the ground heals itself. However, if I put it there and then use the delete tool to remove it, the ground has a hole. The way we fix that is with the heal tool. You basically click around the he on the heal tool, make it as big as you want, and it essentially returns the ground. Again, I'm stuck with, the, it's gonna go where I put my cursor. There we go. The ground is exactly as it was when I started. That is the, the basic tools here. Now, one other thing to note, as I mentioned, you can add something and you can undo it. You can even add something, delete it, and undo the delete. However, what you cannot do is delete a piece of terrain. Like, for example, I have a tree sitting here that's giving me a wonderful shadow. I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to right click on this tree. I have a delete option. I have deleted that tree. The tree will not come back. All of the control Z's in the world will not return that tree. That tree is just simply evaporated. So do keep that in mind when you're trying to remove things off of terrain features off of your area. You cannot grab your pick and mine in your area. Um, all that you can do is use add, delete, and, and heal when you want to remove a feature like for example these plants I wish I could remove them but I can't but this tree is annoying I'm going to get rid of it if I can oh look I can't right click and delete it so you can't even get rid of this tree not every tree can be gotten rid of again this is alpha these tools are in their alpha state um, that's it for this video for the basics when I come back I'll go into the next set with the selection tool thanks for your time